Fractions, like whole numbers, represent a value or an amount. This video will explain how to find fractions of a set. A simple definition of fractions is that they represent parts of a whole thing, be it a shape or a group of objects. It is easy to see fractions as a part of a whole thing when we look at a shape. The parts that a shape is divided into are described by the fraction. The circle is divided into two equal parts, so we say the circle is divided into halves. One part of this divided circle equals one half, one part out of two equal parts. The square is divided into four equal parts, so we say the square is divided into fourths. One part of the square equals one-fourth, one part of four equal parts. Understanding fractional parts of a set or a group of objects takes a little bit more math to understand. Suppose we had 12 buttons. If we wanted to know the value that one-third of these 12 buttons represented, we would count and mark every third button because one-third means one out of three. So every third button could receive a mark. Finally, we could count the total number of buttons that were marked and find the value of one-third of the group. There is an easier mathematical way to find the fraction of a set. You need to recognize and be familiar with multiplication and division fact families. Notice the numbers in the math expression one-third of twelve. How are those numbers related? Twelve, three, and another number are related numbers in a multiplication and division fact family. To find the related number, you simply divide the total number of the set by the denominator of the fraction. Divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4, so one-third of a set of 12 things is 4. You can use division to find the fraction of a set. Try one more. What is one-fourth of 20? To find the fraction of the set, just divide 20 by 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5, so one-fourth of a set of 20 things is 5. With more practice, you'll soon be quickly finding fractions of a set.